Hello there, welcome back. It's me, your host, Roseanne Sorrentino. Brace yourself, it's Friday. I made it. I made it to my first week back at work. It was, uh, it was rough. I had to do PT three times this week, so my neck was sore and, um, you know, right back in the thick of things, I had to stay for games and there were meetings and there were all kinds of things. So I am so thankful that um, I made it through the week, basically unscathed. Um, neck brace was a huge hit. People love the neck brace. They were like, I didn't know they made neck braces in black. And I'm like, they don't. I'm just really crafty. So, um, so yeah, so back to work, uh, need this weekend, looking forward to next weekend, three-day weekend, thank you, Martin Luther King, um, for our three-day weekend, and um, so we're going to move on. So I have a lot of really cool stuff happening uh, as a result of starting Brace Yourself, and uh, I want to share some of it with you, some of it. I'm going to keep under wraps for a little while because um, I don't want to jinx it. And I am kind of a big mouth. I kind of can't, you know, keep happy news to myself because I want to share it with everybody. So that's really something that I'm kind of working on. Uh, I just want to say hi to everybody who's joined, Peter and, and Deb Meisner and Neil. Hi, Neil and Stacy, Allison Stark, Michael Mandel, Camille. Kathy Chernick, it's so nice of you all to tune in. It really makes me happy when I see all of your names pop up uh, to know that you are enjoying uh, the broadcast. So, um, all right, so got an interesting piece of mail today. And in it was $2. I got $2 in the mail today. So I'm kind of like, who's sending me $2? So it's the Nielsen's, not the Nielsen family, the Nielsen ratings. So they sent me this letter asking me to please, uh, you know, first of all, oh, I've got to put the glasses on. I love the letter. It says, have you ever wondered how radio, television, and other media outlets decide what shows to broadcast or cancel? I have. So our household is very special and we've been randomly selected random really i think they so brace yourself so i am definitely gonna fill out the survey and return it and when i return it they're gonna send me five dollars so i may just be on the way to early retirement if i keep answering answering these hi camille hello john hello adam adam is watching adam is our big guest tomorrow. Adam is an up and coming comedian. Um, we're gonna talk about all things comedy and uh, we're gonna hopefully have some laughs ourselves and hopefully if we're laughing, you're laughing. That would be great. Um, so Bridget just left. She's on her way to Governor's Little Room. She has a show tonight, so that's exciting. Uh, hi Casey, my friend, hi Camille. Um, so she has a show tonight. I have a show tomorrow night sold out. Get out. Sold out show at the Greenwich Village Comedy Club tomorrow night. And, uh, I'm going to do my shameless plugs now. I'm sorry. I got to do it. Got to do it. Need people in the audience. Sunday, January 26th at the brokerage in Belmore. So all you Lindy people, that's not too far. Uh, and it's 3.30 in the afternoon. What better? You don't have to be out late. You can all get home in plenty of time. Hey, tea brown. Tea brown. Using my glass. Using my glass. Love it. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Um, um, so it's it's early enough. So you can buy tickets. You can order them ahead of time. That's how you have to do it. And you put in the comments box, you put my name. So, because the way these things work is um, if you don't bring people, you don't perform. They kick you right off the show. Kick you right out. Like you're nothing. Trash. But that's okay. Oh, hi, Laura. Hi, Paul. So, um, 
So I hope that maybe some of you people can come to the show on the 26th. It's a Sunday. It's only the Pro Bowl. It doesn't mean anything. Super Bowl is the following week. So I don't want to hear the football excuse. Not gonna, I'm not going to have the football excuse. So let's see. What else can I share with you today? Um, I have a really fun guest coming in on Monday. His name is Chris Grando. We're actually, Chris doesn't even know this yet. See, there's a little thing that goes into my house on Mondays, and I got in a lot of trouble for it last week. Mondays are Bachelor Mondays. And my daughter and her friends and my other daughter, they all go and get food, um, usually Bubba's, and they come back to the house and they eat dinner, and then they watch three hours of a man trying to decide which beautiful lady he wants to marry. So, hey, my brother-in-law, Bob Byer, what's up, Rob? Um, so I had this interview on Monday with my guest, Chris Grando, who is, um, I'll talk about him in a little bit. Um, and they were like, really, Monday? Mm, in my own house? Kind of, but I can go on location. It's so easy. All I have to do is take the laptop. So, uh, Chris, I don't think you're watching, but if you happen to catch this, um, I'm going to kind of need to come to your house on Monday and do my show. So I'm taking brace yourself on the road, brace yourself. So, um, that's what's happening there. And, um, so I'm going to be going on location. Now, Chris Grando is a great guy. Chris Grando is the president of my running club, the DCRP. Do you want to know what that stands for? I bet you do. It stands for the drinking club with the running problem. I'm waiting for it to become the drinking club with the walking problem because this running stuff is killing me. But uh, I can't run until late spring, but I am uh, going to be the um, keeper of the keg, if you will. I'll stay back at the tent and I'll watch all the stuff. Hi, Colleen Simon, Lori Montalto, Chrissy Faith. Hi, Chrissy, my friend. How are you? Joe Zidi, how are you, Joe? So, yeah, so he is the president of the DCRP, and this group is just growing by leaps and bounds. Um, we have about, I think he said, 40-something runners now as part of our group, and it's a real fun group, and we don't just run races to run races. Uh, most of the races that we run um, are for charities, and they run uh, a race every year in Islip called the Michelini Run, and that is also for charity. They do a lot of great charity work. They uh, We bring the toys for the John Thiessen at the um, Jingle All the Way run that we just did. That was my last run before my surgery. So um, they do a lot of great work. He is a businessman. He is a father. He is a hockey fanatic. His son is an amazing hockey player, and... Um, I am friends of, with his wife, the lovely Michelle. So we are going to hopefully drag Michelle on too. That would be fun. But we are going to be talking with Chris on Monday. So that should be a great time. I'm really looking forward to it. Marnie girl, I'm still waiting for you. You thought I forgot, but I didn't. So that's another one. Marnie, I want on because she is real estate, uh, realtor extraordinaire. So, and she's funny. She wants to do flip the script where she comes and asks me questions. So that, that is um, a, great, a great thing. We're going to do that. So I have a friend at work. Her name is Rebecca. She is what I would probably describe as a wordsmith, very good with the words. And um, she's come up with a couple of ideas for me. We've been brainstorming together, which is amazing. And... Uh, we're going to try out a new segment a little later before I sign off, but I want to share a funny Judy story with you. Um, Judy, she kills me. So I did, uh, or, uh, I didn't do, I didn't have a guess. I just did one by myself. I think it was, you know, like, here we go, just wrapping up or whatever it was. It was a few days ago. And she calls me the next day. She said, I saw your show. Can I give you some notes? She's giving me notes. She says, just a little constructive criticism. So I said, sure. 
and she gave me some criticism and it was valid it was valid and I'm trying to keep it in mind now as um as I'm doing this appearance hi Brian yes who doesn't love Judy really we got to get her back on here she's hilarious she's always a good time and um I went to to Verace last night they had their their 10 year anniversary and I went with my friend Beth and my friend Pam and we went to Verace and I mentioned something in a group chat and she says you went out while I was sitting home eating old meatballs so I felt kind of bad then sorry mom um, but we did we went to the Verace 10 year anniversary and I got a little nervy and I went over to the owner and I introduced myself and I told him about brace yourself which um, this thing's blown up I'm making business cards because you gotta have a business card to hand out, right? Uh, I'm making magnets because you gotta have magnets. You want it on people's refrigerators, and I'm making T-shirts so that if you were a guest on my show before I get the T-shirts, you will be getting a T-shirt, and all future guests will be getting a brace yourself T-shirt. So you're either getting in on the ground floor or something really great, or you're going to have a night shirt, really cool night shirt for the rest of your life. So I'm hoping that it's getting in on the ground floor uh, of a new thing. That would be amazing. So, oh, Brendan and Allison. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, Kathy, you need a magnet and a shirt. You need to come on the show. That's what's got to happen there. So, Anyway, so I'm going to um, try this new segment out from my friend Rebecca, the wordsmith. And we're trying to, she is, um, she loves a good pun. Loves a good pun. And um, she came up with, what the neck? You know, the neck, right? So I'm going to try it out. Listen. I don't have any sponsors. I don't have anybody to answer to yet. I answer to me. I'm the only one I answer to. I make the decisions here. And as long as that's happening, I'm going to try different things. So I'm going to be relying on you to tell me, what do you think? Kill it? Cancel it? Don't ever do it again? It was stupid? I'm going to give it a shot. So uh, what the neck is really kind of, you know, things that have me shaking my head, which is kind of hard to do in the current situation. Hopefully, I'll be able to shake my head a little bit better um, in the future months. I think I will be. But um, so right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a couple of things that you know really have me shaking my head, and uh, I'm gonna start with what the neck is with the Christmas lights still up. I mean, take down the Christmas lights. It's January 10th. Christmas is over, and I drive around, and I'm not talking one or two lights, maybe a wreath that was forgotten in the rafters. I'm talking about full-blown, lit up like it's the night before Christmas. I mean, come on now, people. The warm weather is this weekend. Lights better come down. Otherwise, it's just annoying at this point. It's depressing. And your wreaths are dying. Take down your wreaths. If they're real and they're brown, take them down. Makes me crazy. Those are the things that make me shake my head. The other thing that's got me shaking my head and makes me want to say, what the neck? Easter candy? We didn't even have Valentine's Day yet. You got to put Easter candy out? That, you know, we push every holiday. It's not even Halloween, and they're already putting Thanksgiving out. You can't even find a Halloween costume two days before Halloween. And forget about trying to find some Halloween candy the week before. It's all sold out. It's all on clearance already. So those are the things that make me crazy. We rush, 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 rush everything. And it's just, it's ridiculous. Hey, Christine Capolino, thank you. You look great, too. Hi, Diana. Nice to see you. Ralph, Rich Fuchs. Oh, it's so nice, everybody who joins. Kathy Wall, thank you all for joining in. And, you know, I think that my last um, what the neck for tonight is what the neck, the first thing that a cashier will say to you now is not, hello, how are you? Did you find everything you need? Do you want a bag? 
it's five cents. Yeah, I know it's five cents. And yes, I want a bag because I always forget my bags. They're always in the car. And if I buy one, then that's another. I must have like 40 bags in my car. And I put them in my car and I go, I'm going to remember to take them this time. I'm going to take the bag this time. I never take the bag. And it just really uh, gets me a little crazy to have to pay five cents for a bag. The only bags I don't forget are the grocery bags because you go into the grocery store, you know. But um, so that's my little, my little uh, new segment, What the Neck. I'll pick two or three things to talk about the things that really get me, you know, shaking my head. And um, it's Friday, man. It's Friday. We can all sleep tomorrow. We can relax. It's going to be nice. Tomorrow's going to be a nice day. And I'm hoping to have a very special birthday broadcast. First of all, one of the things um, that I think I'm going to tell my daughters I want for my birthday is I want them to be on the show. <laughs> Sarah just yelled no from upstairs. I thought I was whispering, not good enough. Uh, if you loved me, you would be. So, um, but I'm hoping to have it from a special location with a special guest prior to my birthday dinner. So that would be um, something really cool. I'm not going to mention it right now because I don't want to jinx it, A, and I don't want to put this person on blast if they're unable to do it for any reason. I already put it on Facebook. I was like, oh, why did I do that? So I shouldn't have said anything, but I did. So I'm not going to say it again. Uh, oh, there are oh, some of my favorite people are coming on here now. Michael and Alice and Rose, you're joining in. That's cool. So Michael, we still need to do the soup, the cheesy potato soup. I really would like some more. It is my birthday coming up. I'd like some cheesy potato soup. That would be awesome. And I'd like you to come to my house and cook it for me. So um, so that's it. I don't think I want to waste any more of your Friday night. I'm going to uh, sit back. I'm going to enjoy my lovely, well-deserved glass of wine. I waited all week for this glass of wine. Oh, if you know me, you know that's a lie. I didn't wait all week for this. I probably had a glass last night. Oh, I did. Okay. So, um, but it is Friday, one of our favorite days of the week. And so I want to enjoy Friday night. I want you to go out, have a great Friday night. And I want you to tune in again tomorrow at 12 o'clock with my guest, Adam Snare, comedian. Uh, and we are going to talk about all things comedy. Hopefully we're going to make you laugh. and. Um, Got to tune in and see it. So hopefully I'll have more exciting news to share with you tomorrow. That would be amazing. And for now, I just want to say happy Friday, good night, and cheers.